What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm here to bring you all my review of Bungo Stray Dogs Episode 3. So let's get right into it. So with Bungo Stray Dogs Episode 3, we get introduced to a new organization called the Port Mafia. So pretty much the Port Mafia is pretty much a crime organization and we come to find out by the end of this episode that Desai was also part of the Port Mafia at some given point in time. Now when it comes to this episode with the fights, I was very taken aback by this episode because originally I thought that this series was going to have, you know, some form of censorship or maybe little to no blood, but after witnessing when Naomi basically shielded her brother, uh, Tanazaki, like, I was like, damn, damn, that's crazy. Because did you see the amount of blood on her whole back? Like, I was just, I was shocked. Now, we really haven't seen too much of what Naomi is capable of. All we pretty much get out of her is pretty much like a comedic aspect of her pretty much just, you know, going head over heels for her brother, which is kind of off-putting to me <laughs> like that's just some weird shit you even see at sushi you know get weirded out by the connection quote-unquote that uh, Tanazaki and Naomi have for one another but you know we don't really get to see much from her however when it comes to Tanazaki after witnessing what happened to Naomi he g goes full-on ape shit when it comes to Tanazaki, Tanazaki has the ability called Light Snow, which is also based off of Tanazaki Junichiro's novels, which is awesome. Now, when it comes to this episode on how he used his ability, basically from what I gathered out of this episode is that he has the ability to digitize himself and surrounding areas to another point in time. We see him basically digitize uh, the surrounding area of himself and he can even digitize his body to the point where he can do a sort of backstabbing move on to the opponent, which is kind of cool because like this sort of ability, because he can digitize himself, it almost seems like he is using a bi uh, the ability straight out of the Matrix, which is kind of cool. Now, when it comes to the poor Mafia members, we get introduced to Higuchi. Um, I don't really know much about her. I don't really think she ended up using an ability within this episode. She pretty much just is a gun specialist. I could be wrong on that, but from what we know of her so far is that we really do not know much of her. Now, when it comes to the main... The main character that was just awesome <laughs> in this episode that I was really hyped for because I knew that he was going to make an appearance. His name is Ryurosuke Akutagawa. And this guy right here. I love his character so far, what they're doing with him in Stray Dogs. But Akutagawa is... If you remember the anime Erased, I'm pretty sure everybody remembers that. If you remember the anime Erased, he was actually the author who ended up writing The Spider's Thread. And The Spider's Thread actually played some sort of role within the series of Erased. Now, Rinosuke Okutagawa is a very historical figure in Japan just like the other authors within this series and while he did end up writing the spider's thread he ended up writing another book called Rashomon which is basically like a thousand tales compiled within one book and his ability called Rashomon is an ability that basically has the power to devour everything in sight. And we just saw in this episode how much power Akutagawa has with his ability called Rashomon. I mean, he completely just freaking swallows, you know, Atsushi's leg whole, and Atsushi doesn't have a leg for a while until he ends up transforming into the Were Tiger, as they called it, um, and he is able to regenerate his limbs. So, this is pretty interesting. We get to see a little bit of, you know, uh, what kind of ability, um, uh, Atsushi has. We know he ended up uh, turning into the White Tiger, but that's pretty much all we pretty much knew. But it seems that Atsushi also has the power to actually regenerate his body and limbs. So that is very interesting as well. 
So yeah, so far from what I have seen of Bungo Stray Dogs uh, from these first three episodes, I am really enjoying the series. Um, loving the comedy aspect. Um, loving how the story is actually playing out. I mean, it's not the best story that we have seen, let's be honest here. But the story is so far very enjoyable, and it seems that it's going to get darker as the episodes go on. And I'm really liking the characters. I'm really liking the characters, and I really find the whole, you know, inspiration behind uh, other historical authors in Japanese literature very interesting when it comes to this series and makes me want to learn more about them and you know possibly even buy some of their books and I bought in a couple um, of Zai's work but as far as everybody else I haven't really you know gotten that engrossed in actually checking out their books yet but I definitely will probably make you know some sort of judgment if I want to you know read their books in the near future but anyway uh, going off topic here <laughs> now I'm really enjoying Bungo Stray Dogs now I'm just wondering how dark is this series going to get it says it's a sane and supernatural sort of series and I just want to know like how dark is this going to get I mean we see a lot of blood play out in this episode which is good um, there's no censoring which is also good but I'm just wondering how far it will go now when it comes to the comedy within Bungo Stray Dogs. You know, in episode two, we got a lot of comedy within that one episode, and I guess that was necessarily used to show the lighthearted side of Bungo Stray Dogs, but since now we are getting into the more darker stuff with this episode, it seems that, you know, the comedy won't be that prevalent anymore which is a good thing because I, in my episode 2 review of Bungo Stray Dogs I said can we please just tone down the comedy just a little bit and I mean you know with dark series you need to have comedy in order to pretty much you know give comic relief and alleviate the whole darkness that the series contains but that is pretty much just you know what I have been thinking about recently when it comes to the series like how far is the comedy gonna go how far is you know the dark route of this series gonna go how much you know gore blood are we gonna see I just have a lot of questions you know I really do want to see this series do well and so far from what I have seen it is doing well but I'm just a little skeptical as how far they are going to take this and you know that's good that's a good thing that I'm being skeptical about the series because if you enjoy a series you know you want to be skeptical on you know how far they are willing to take it so yeah, love this episode, and I just want to learn more exactly on how Desai and Ryunosuke Okutagawa ended up meeting within the series Bungo Stray Dogs, and what uh, Desai even ended up doing within that agency. Did he kill people, or, you know, what exactly is going on there? Like, how did he end up going about joining the agency uh, of Port Mafia, and how did he end up coming up with the idea that, you know, what, I want to quit, I don't like what you're doing doing here so I'm gonna quit like what exactly happened between the two of them I'm very curious as to know so we're just gonna have to figure out later down the line as the episodes come out let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you thought about this episode of Bungo Stray Dogs and of course if you liked this video don't forget to drop a like it helps me out helps out the channel and it just helps it out grow more and you know I wouldn't be here today without your support so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you of course if you like this video don't forget Forget to drop a like i would greatly appreciate it and if you want to stick updates for my future content on this channel please hit that red subscribe button below and you will never miss a video from me that about does it for this video guys and i'll catch you all in the next one peace